<laughs> it's Monday, 2nd of July. 2nd of July, uh, 2018 at 2 p.m. Uh, I shower, I don't know, I feel, I feel slightly wet. I don't know if there's a good lighting here. It doesn't seem to be good lighting. It's got a bluish tinge to it. My hair is wet, so. Uh, I'll put the main light on. I'm just wearing a t shirt and pants. Nothing. Just, uh, you know, <clears throat> don't feel like uh, you know, doing much <laughs> in terms of makeup. Uh, yeah. mm. <clears throat> I haven't been dieting well, so but I did do uh, I did do well yesterday, and uh, hopefully I can do good today too. I haven't been doing any voice practice, so I'm really self conscious about it. Very self conscious. Um, I feel uncomfortable on the camera. I feel uncomfortable. Oh, this is a movie. The Bitter Tears of Petra Von. Von Kant. I should see these movies. I don't, I don't, um, why am I not making time? Mm. This is uh, Mario Bava, the girl who knew too much. Apparently this is one of the first Giallo films. So. Yeah, anyway, so I get a bit of so my lips have healed a little bit. Um, that's good. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like making this video. <laughs> I just do not feel like making this video. I don't feel in a good frame of mind. Uh, I don't feel good. I don't feel good. Uh, I don't feel like making this video either. You know. I feel fat and no, I'm not happy. Oh, I better let me just off that heater because it's gonna make a lot of noise. Turn this. Uh, you now you can hear the um, air purifier. One of it. Let me off that. Mm. Ah, now it should be quiet. I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know my birthday is going to be in like a month's time. August tenth. I'm going to be forty. Maybe I'll talk to my therapist about that. I'm going to be 40 in like a month and I don't know what to do about it. It seems like it's supposed to be a, a significant milestone. I want to celebrate it. I want to... I want to make something out of it. I don't know. I don't know what I will do with it. <coughs> So I'll talk about my 40th birthday. I'll just mention my electrolysis. If she asks, what have you done? Well, I did my electrolysis. Um, <clears throat> and I've bought, uh, well, I've got my mom to go, uh, get me organic veggies, uh, which I'm really, that uh, makes me feel good because I don't, I, I want to, I don't know, I just want to eat organic veggies. 
I want to, I want to get um, organic sweet potato and onions next, as well as uh, frozen spinach and um, beans, organic uh, frozen. So, um, so that 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 makes me feel good. So I can I can talk about that, and then I can talk about my depression, and then I can talk about <clears throat> the fact that my uh, uh, medical exemption will end in about two weeks, no, oh, less than two weeks, uh, July 30th, uh, 13th. So I wanted to talk to her about that. Like, um, how do I, how do I get myself to a mindset where um, I can uh, desire, <laughs> desire getting a job, um, like get myself I don't know I just feel so depressed I just um it's hard for me to get the desire to uh, want to work and make money and do something with my life it's, I, ha I, I I don't have that desire in me I intellectually want it but emotionally it, it just feels like I feel very hopeless emotionally I, I don't have the emotional uh, power uh, but intellectually I know it's what I want to do or I should be doing or something like that but emotionally I just feel very uh, depressed and uh, yeah, struggling with that I guess I could talk about that mm. Just, you know, it's getting better. Like some broken skin because of the electrolysis. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel depressed. I feel depressed. I feel, but I'm, you know, I'm, I was, I may, I'm motivated. I pushed myself to make my veggie stew yesterday, uh, so that was good. Today I did the same thing, so that was good. But I didn't do my voice practice, which was kind of neglectful of me. I really want to get my voice to. Because that will definitely help my confidence. Definitely. Definitely. Because then I can talk more like, Hey, I'm, I can talk to you too. Um, because I'm proud of my voice, not ashamed of it. Um, uh, yeah, Fat, fat. I should wear my lipstick. I don't know. Maybe I could just put something on. I guess. <coughs> Easy to put something on here. No, I'm just very tired. Oh, not this. This black rum thing on. My room is such a mess. It is such a mess. Such a mess. Mm. I did see the fantastic woman on the Google movies, that's a very good film. Very, very good. And it just shows um it's it it's a very um it's not graphic, you know. They showed the violence through um, analogy rather than directly like 
So it, it was, it's very classy. It's a very classy film. Uh, so that was a very good film. It was very good. I wonder if one day Oscar and best foreign uh, film and all that. So yeah. I think I'm really gonna wash my hands. Look at all the tissue paper here. It's like my room is a mess. It's another thing which bothers me. My 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 messy room. The light wasn't that bad. Uh, you know, I, thought, I thought it was going to be really bad. <coughs> it's a bit of a, a gloomy day. So. Oh, everything is so messy in my room. If I want my hair to grow properly, I need to be consistent with my diet. And, uh, you know, I have to be consistent. I'm just like this very moody and emotional and I just don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like this yo-yo dieting and moody, moodiness, mood issues. <coughs> okay, uh, so... Nothing much else to say. Nothing much to. My room is very messy. It is very, very messy. Uh, what is it? Two thirteen. Uh, so my goal today is to go there and come back and then eat my veggie stew. Uh, Maybe do my evening routine. I haven't really done much in my evening routine. And then tomorrow morning I want to get up early and do the same thing. <sighs> do my morning routine, prepare my veggie stew and hopefully do some voice practice. Where are you going? Yeah. Where are you going? Um, I asked my mom to drop me but uh, no she said she had to make her own food or something. Um, <coughs> So yeah, yeah, do my voice practice because I really want my voice to improve. Um, maybe even uh, <coughs> think about getting actual voice ther therapy because there is a, uh, a lady who does a voice therapy for trans people. She's, she's, a, she's a university lecturer and, uh, and I found like her recommended. Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, what else can you? Uh, I don't know. Oh yes, I, I am in the process of applying for a, a research assistant position for a, I don't know, for some project the university is doing. So they need someone who will. Who's from? Who's like me? They are looking for someone just like me. Uh, Except like I don't have much connection to the trans community other than online. Maybe I'm a part of this Facebook group, and I did work in a 
community center. So it, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not, I don't have a lot of connections to anybody. <laughs> um, I'm thinking of getting this movie. It's called um, Night of the Comet. It's like the zombie movie, but it's an 80s film. Like, this is a very cool fun 80s movie and at the end of the film it's like the whole world is like empty and uh, except for these people and it's like um, I don't know it's like it's like it's like the end of the world and it's like everybody party or something like that it's such a uh, I don't know I don't remember the ending was so fun so I might get that I might, a blu -ray. I might get that uh, anyway, so I'm gonna be heading out soon. Uh, the lighting is bad. It's got a bluish tinge to it. it, it uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, and my hair start looks a bit off. Uh, there. Alright. Uh, I mean, we have <coughs> funny sound. Uh, it's two fifty ish. So I'm at the plane. My skin is still like broken. Anyway, I better go in and uh, talk. <laughs> Okay, it's a few minutes to four. I finished my appointment. It was, uh, it was relatively good because um, I talked mostly about my depression, and the reason I'm so depressed is because I, I'm unemployed, I don't have a job. Uh, you know, that's, that's one of the major causes of my depression and um, so yeah uh, hey. I talked about you know uh, like having difficulty interacting with people and how I signed up for this dating site and how oh, I deleted my account because I just got it stressful uh, you know, but I think I think it's a you know I think I might sign up for that account again. And, you know, just to talk to people. You know, have lots of people to talk to, and uh, you know that. It's, uh, you know, another thing is like you know I, I can't wait for the perfect time to meet people. You know. That's what. That's the reason I signed up for that dating site was because I thought, hey, you know, there's not going to be a perfect time. Might as well do it now. And I just got, I don't know, I just got very stressed. So I might sign up for that dating site again. And uh, you know, I do want to get a job. And but I mean, it's you know, I talked about that research assistant position. I think that would be so cool to get that. Yeah, you know, one of the reasons I'm depressed is because I don't have a job. It's making me really depressed, and um, so some of the causes of my depression are unemployment, not having any money, not having any social life, and uh, so these are the main causes of my depression, unemployment and lack of social life. So yeah, I think I might try and uh, sign up with that dating site and you know, am I, you know, apply for that uh, research assistant position and, you know, they said that, you know, you take it slowly, I mean, she said take it slowly, <sighs> you know, take it slowly. Anyway, <laughs> going home.